Hey guys, I hope you're all well. For any of you that are learning to drive, I would highly recommend downloading the ultimate driving course. There are 38 easy to understand videos covering every single topic required to pass the driving test. Just watch the video before the driving lesson related to the topic you are covering on that day. This will provide you with the correct knowledge on that subject, which means you'll know exactly what to do. So you'll get into the car fully prepared, which will speed up learning. This will definitely save you time and money on driving lessons. The course is still available at the special offer one-off fee, which gives you access to all of the videos for 12 months. And to get a free sample of a video in the ultimate driving course, please watch this video that I have previously uploaded. The link to the video is in the description below. Hey guys, welcome to another video. So we've got another mock test and for those of you who haven't seen the videos before, so I have a learner who turns up here. This is Hassan. He hasn't had lessons with me. So they just come here for me to assess their driving. So I'm not really teaching them anything, just taking them for an actual mock test and just telling them of their faults. And obviously for you guys on camera, I will talk about the faults just before they happen. Any serious faults will be in uh, red text and any normal driving faults will be in amber text. So Hassan, tell me a bit, uh, bit about your driving please. So how long have you been driving for? Just five years. Five years, yeah. 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 And um, you did tell me earlier when we met that you've been driving in Spain before? Yeah, in Spain, yeah. Okay, so how long were you driving in Spain for? Yeah, four years. Four years. Yeah. And obviously in Spain they drive on the opposite side and the steering's on the opposite side. Yeah, as well, exactly. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Different. Yeah, it's 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 quite different. Mm. And here in the uh, in the UK, how many driving lessons have you had? Mm, just because uh, uh, I passed the theory, and it was in the the beginning of uh, last year. I mean in December. Okay. So after that, uh, I booked the the test driving test. It okay. was in March. From that sense, I did uh, between March and uh, uh, June, like nine, nine, nine or ten. I'm not sure. Okay, yeah. nine or ten hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. that's it. Yeah. That's right. Is uh, there any any problems or? No. Yeah. Of course, I have problems and faults. Yeah. Everybody can do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I had some faults. Normal. Okay. So, but you think you're nearly ready for a test? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That's fine then. So, um, just I'm waiting the. To send me a link, I can. Oh yeah, for the test. Exactly. Obviously, because yeah. the tests yeah. have been postponed yeah. at the moment. Yeah, they yeah. they are restarting in on the twenty yeah. second of July. Yeah, so yeah. hopefully she gets something. When I know right when it's my uh, test, of course I will do. Oh, then I you're going to continue yeah, more lessons. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So you've uh, you've seen the videos, haven't you? You know how it works. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I won't yeah. say anything during the test, yeah. apart from giving you obviously instructions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any faults we will talk about at the end. Okay. Okay. But obviously mm -hmm. in the video. When you watch it back, the faults, I'll tell you about the faults beforehand, yeah? Okay. okay. Right, guys, and um, any of you that would like a mock test um, and are okay with it being filmed for, film for YouTube, you can drop me a message on Instagram or Snapchat at DJ and Driving. Okay, Hassan, um, have you done any of the Show Me Tell Me questions? No, actually, no. But uh, I was uh, just reading. Okay, you've read it. Is yeah. it okay if I ask you one? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, yeah. so could you tell me how you check your headlights and taillights are working? Headlight. Yeah, headlights and taillights. Yeah. Could you tell me how you check the working? Yeah, of course. Uh, I turn on the ignition. So uh, I can't do it physically when it's safe. So on the light, and then after I have to check. How do you check? Uh, I check and then it shows the light in the dashboard. Yeah, it does show light in the dashboard, yeah. but how how do you check your lights are working outside? How do you check? I go around. That's it. Yeah. Good. Yeah? Go around, so, yeah. yeah. So you switch them on and go around. Exactly. Yeah? Yeah. Obviously, guys, Hassan hasn't driven this car before. Obviously, the lights Hassan are on this side here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's for the lights. That's for the yeah. wipers. Yeah. Because okay. every car is different. Yes, of course. Yeah. This is uh, right then. Hyundai, this. Yeah. Yeah. So you ready? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so to start off with, you'll be following the sat nav. No, okay. Right. So follow the sat nav. Anything you're not sure about, just ask me. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. So I'll move off, please, when you're ready. When Hassan presses the clutch to start the car, I notice that his seating position isn't correct. He was really stretching when pressing the clutch pedal down. 
Examiners wouldn't help you with this on your driving test and it's not a driving fault but it could cause you to make mistakes if you can't press the clutch pedal fully down. Now to start this car you need to put the clutch pedal down. Okay, your seat adjusted okay do you think? Alright. You know your seat Hassan, do you think it's adjusted correctly? No, it's... Yeah. The back. No, that, that's fine. You know when you put the clutch down, put the clutch down for me again. Hmm? That's it. See how this is stretching down? That's it. You don't want to be stretching. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. That's better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So whenever you're ready, please, if you okay. could move off. When moving off from a park position, we use the POM routine, which stands for prepare, observe and move. To prepare the car, you should select face gear and get your feet ready by setting the gas and getting the biting point. Then observe to check it's safe and then finally move off. Hassan starts to observe before selecting the gear. This isn't a driving fault because Hassan does check again just before moving but it's pointless doing the observations if you're not ready to move. Here Hassan shows good awareness by noticing the roadwork sign and slowing down in good time. Whilst waiting and just before moving off, notice how Hassan is regularly checking the mirrors. He's aware of what's going on around him. My mic was obstructing Hassan's view, so I take it off. I can't see properly because of this I think. Okay. Mirror. No problem. You'll notice me wondering about where to place the mic. I end up sticking it on the visor. After 300 yards, turn right. On the approach to this turn, Hassan reaches 34 miles per hour, but it's only for a couple of seconds, so it's not a serious driving fault. We can see that the speed limit on this road is 20 miles per hour. Hassan starts off well and keeps to the speed limit, but then speeds up to 27 miles per hour, so I have to ask him to slow down. And for any of you that are wondering, the speed indicator on the sat nav isn't accurate. Down, After please. 300 yards, turn left, then turn right. Turn left, then turn right. On the approach to this left turn, has some positions too far to the right. Hassan keeps a safe gap and good speed when passing the parked vehicles. After 100 yards, turn right, then ahead, keep left. This is a staggered crossroad and getting the correct position whilst waiting in the middle can be tricky. Hassan does it well. Turn right, then ahead. Now here we have a marking for a bus stop. 
you are allowed to keep to the normal driving position and drive over the bus stop marking. But if it was a bus lane, then you would avoid entering it at operating times. There was no need for Hassan to drive around it. Instead of keeping to the normal driving position, Hassan positions too much to the right. This happened a few times during the test. I think it's mainly because he's used to driving on the opposite side of the road and it can get difficult to judge the gap from the curb when you're used to driving on the opposite side. There's an oncoming bus and Hassan slows down well and checks the correct mirrors before moving off. At this roundabout, Hassan forgets to signal. He also slows down too much and selects gear 1. It was safe to continue in gear 2. At this roundabout, we are going straight ahead second exit. Hassan keeps a good position when he enters the roundabout, but then drifts slightly over to the right hand lane before exiting the roundabout. Cross the roundabout, second exit, then turn left. On the approach to this roundabout, Hassan makes two serious driving faults. He doesn't signal right at all. Go right on the roundabout, third exit. And then Hassan attempts to use the opposite side of the road when entering the roundabout, so I have to intervene. No, 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 this lane, this lane. Okay. No, 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 this lane, this lane. After entering the roundabout, Hassan does well. He follows the spiral marking well and does good mirror checks before exiting the roundabout. Take the exit, then go left on the roundabout. After 300 yards, turn left. On the approach to this left turn, Hassan signals too late. This didn't give the vehicle behind us enough warning and did cause it to slow down a little. If the vehicle behind was any closer, then this could have been a serious driving fault. And left. He's also in the wrong gear for the turn. Second gear was required, but he was in third. could park up anywhere safe on the left please. When parking up, Hassan positions too close to the junction. The minimum distance is 10 meters. When we talk about this at the end of the test, he is aware of the distance, but still continues to make this mistake. Okay, and move off when you're ready please. When moving off, Hassan doesn't prepare the vehicle. He forgets to select first gear.
When turning right from a main road to a side road, you must give way to oncoming vehicles. There were no oncoming vehicles, so it was safe to continue. Hassan slows down too much and selects gear 1 even though it's clear. Turn right, then cross the roundabout. And if you could park up anywhere safe on the left, please. Again, Hassan parks too close to the junction and also signals before the junction. Okay, thank you, and move off when you're ready, please. When moving off, Hassan does check the right blind spot but again, doesn't prepare the vehicle before observing. The blind spot should be checked just as you move off, so there is no chance of the situation changing. Hassan doesn't check it just before moving off. This roundabout has an end as well. Now at this point, you would normally check your mirrors, signal and look to exit onto the left lane. But we have the lorry next to us in the left lane. The best thing to do in this situation is to exit onto the right hand lane as we have a choice of two lanes and then move back to the left when it's safe. Hassan brakes and slows down the car too much to get into the left lane. Slowing down like this would affect the flow of the traffic behind. Take the exit. Hassan maintains a safe gap from the lorry and builds up to a good speed. This roundabout hasn't as well. He follows the markings correctly and does excellent observations before exiting the roundabout. Go right on the roundabout, third exit. this dual carriageway, the speed limit is 40 miles per hour. Hassan reaches 47 miles per hour, so I have to ask him to slow down. Hassan, slow down for me, please. Slow After down, break. 400 yards, go round the roundabout, third exit. At the traffic lights, if you could turn right, please. This right turn, Hassan does well. He keeps a good gap from the bus and only goes into the middle when there is enough space. He also chooses a safe gap to go.
Again, we're entering a 20 mile per hour zone, and again, Hassan drives too fast. Second exit. Now we are entering a busy car park. Well, ask Hassan to do the reverse bay parking maneuver. As we enter the car park, Hassan shows really good awareness by noticing the lady approaching the crossing and then stopping in good time. Stop about here, please. Here? Yep. And reverse into one of the bays, please, on the left or the right. Park. Yes, please, reverse park. Hassan starts off with good observations. But when he begins to steer to the left, he doesn't check the right blind spot before our vehicle swings out. And this would be a serious driving fault. Hassan realises that our car will not end up in between the bay lines, so he readjusts his position. This is fine to do. When he finishes the manoeuvre, the front of our vehicle is slightly outside the bay. He should have reversed a bit more. And if you could move off, please, when you're ready. Uh. Okay, at uh, this roundabout now, if you could turn right, third exit. After this roundabout, there will be another roundabout, yeah? And at the second roundabout, we're going straight ahead, second exit. So right, third exit, then straight ahead, second exit. We have two roundabouts close together. Hassan does the first roundabout well with good observations. this roundabout, Hassan is in the middle lane, which is the correct lane. Once you enter the roundabout, it's important to keep to the left and not enter the right hand lane. As we enter the roundabout, Hassan drifts slightly over to the right, but then does correct his position. anywhere safe on the left. Mm -hmm. Again, Hassan doesn't park up in a safe position. He parks up opposite a junction. And because this has happened, each time we have parked up, I've marked it as a serious driving fault.
And move off when you're ready, please. Now I'll ask Hassan the show me question. He's not familiar with the controls in this car, but he gets there in the end. And Hassan, if you could uh, show me how to wash the back windscreen, please. Back? Yeah, the back windscreen. Thank you. And at the end of the road, turn right, please. Now we are back at the test centre, where I'll be giving Hassan feedback on his driving. And if you could park up on the left for me please. Left? Yeah, just park up on the left. Okay. Hassan, how do you think that went? Well, I don't think so, but failed. <laughs> you, you think you failed? Yeah. What for? Roundabout. What happened? I'm confused. I should uh, go the where it shows the uh, mandatory row. Yeah, you went on the yeah. wrong side. Yeah. yeah. Good. Because so you noticed that? Yeah, that happened. Yeah. Uh, see, this might have something to do with because you've been driving for us such a long time in. Yeah. In because not, exactly, even uh, the, uh, the town, I mean, you don't know how it goes yeah, on yeah. the road. So, yeah, everything. exactly. So you really got to... I know how it, how uh, it confused, is. confused. Yeah. yeah, another fault that you kept doing was driving too close to that side. You know, when you're driving normally, yeah, you should be driving about one meter away from the curb, yeah? Mm. But you're always driving... Too much. Too much to that side. Uh -huh. Again, it's because you've been driving on the right hand side mm. in Spain yeah? Mm, yeah okay I know it is because I've driven in a different country where I, where we have to drive on that yeah. side and mm. you, uh, it is I understand what's uh, what you find difficult there yeah mm. okay um, right the other faults did you notice any other faults yeah I think uh, there is faults yeah like as you said uh, went to other side yeah maybe the lights indicate Indicate most of the, you know what, the good points about your driving, your mirrors, excellent. Yeah, always checking your mirrors, good, yeah, and you've got good knowledge about what's going on around you because when you chain your lane mm. on dual carriageway or roundabout, very good judgment. Yeah, it shows you've got the experience Thank there. You. Yeah, that's that's a very good part because mm. you, you, you keep it, it's a, it's a good thing to do because that's what keeps you safe mainly. Mm. Yeah, okay, so good on that part. Your speed. To be aware of the speed limits on the road, yeah. You know, some of the roads I went on when to you said me, uh, slow, slow down. down every time I said slow down, it's because you're going yeah, too fast. Yeah, th that's uh, it, doesn't show me maybe th 30. No, and there were two roads that were 20, one near the start as well, you know, with the speed humps. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's 20. Yeah, yeah, and no, you were doing uh, 26. Yeah, maybe I had to, I had okay. to mm. slow down. Yeah, mm. even on the 30, one time you need you reach 34, but then you slow down. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that was okay. Obviously, you don't you don't want to drive too slow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on uh, on one of the dual carriageways, speed limit was forty. Yeah, yeah? first you doing good. No, the first one it was fifty. Yeah, that was fine. Yeah, you did good there. Yeah, yeah you kept your speed up. This is good. You don't want to drive too mm -hmm. slow either. But then, one of the dual carriageways it was forty. Yeah. you were doing forty. Good. Yeah, no. you're going a little bit over. No. But then thirty-two, uh, thirty-three. Yeah, no, you're going a bit over. You're going about forty-four. Mm. But then you, you slow down. You slow down quite a bit. You you went down to about thirty, thirty-two, mm. which mm. is a bit too slow. But then, yeah. then I don't know what happened. Then you went fast again, and you reached. Mm. You were nearly going to go to fifty. It's <laughs> checking the mirror, maybe. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. actually, actually yeah. just slow down yeah. again. Exactly. So yeah. No, sometimes the the, the what is called the cars coming. Overtaking, you know? yeah, you have to keep so an eye exactly. On that as well. yeah. So, I want to change the line, but yeah, looking behind, yeah, so the car is coming yeah. faster. So, so, you have to slow down, yeah. Solution that looking quickly there, checking your speed as well speed, regularly, yeah. yeah. Okay, like, so you got the experience of you've been driving mm. in a different country, yeah, so you're gonna yeah. have these habits that you're just used to mm. doing, yeah. Okay, you gotta just concentrate a bit more on that. Mm -hmm. Um, speed, yeah, speed. So, just make sure you stick to the correct speed because mm. you went over. Yeah. Like I don't want you to start driving too slow either. Yeah, yeah but yeah. you were too fast a few times. Yeah. I have to, uh, I have to actually slow down. Um, when you did your maneuver, mm -hmm. yeah, when I should do the bay park, yeah? yeah. Okay, you had to go forward to rear, just no problem. Okay, you that was okay. Forward, yeah. yeah, because he wasn't in the yeah. line. Yeah? yeah, but then, you know, when you first 
start to reverse. You did good checks. Yeah. yeah. But then, when you steer this way, mm. yeah, you know when your car swings out, yeah. yeah, you've got to make sure you check that blind spot over there. Yeah. You didn't check it. Okay, mm. that would be a serious fault on your driving mm. test. Okay, because that's it's in a busy car park. Mm. Yeah. Your car's swinging out. Before it swings out, check all around. Mm. You were checking your mirrors, but you can't see your blind spot. first step, but again. But you can't see your blind spot in your mirrors. Mm. Okay, that's the area you can't see in your mirrors. So mm. make sure to check that, yeah? Okay? Mm. Like I said, you can see this in the video again, yeah? yeah okay, yeah, it'll be uploaded yeah, sure. soon. Um, what was the other thing I had here? So let's go through the list. Speed, position we've been through. Um, um, a couple of the smaller roundabouts. Roundabout is clear, mm -hmm. yeah. You still getting gear one, yeah. yeah. Get gear, just keeping gear two and go. Two, yeah. But most of the roundabouts are good, mm -hmm. but some roundabouts you just mm -hmm. getting gear one for no reason. No, sometimes you know why? Because this is petrol. So when you you have to do as you said manual, so slowing down maybe it's. Oh, maybe oh you wasn't sure about what, exactly. what gear is good for that speed. Yeah. Okay, cool, makes sense. Right. Um, like I said, the speeding and uh, yeah, the stopping now, final thing. You know when I, when, I, when we ask you to stop? Yeah. Yeah, when I say park up anywhere safe. Yeah, when I say. Don't do it quickly. Yeah. Have a little think, is it safe? Like, so that's the junction there on the left, yeah? Yeah. Okay. What distance are you supposed to keep ten, from that? Ten meters. Ten meters, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Every time. I, I moved to the next one. Yeah, but you're still like on the other side, close to it. Close, yeah. Both sides got to be ten yeah. meters. Yeah, yeah. You understand if anybody wants to come out, so yeah, you're not exactly. obstructing their view. Mm. But you, every time I was saying to you, park in your safe, you were just trying to stop quickly. Mm. Even on the last one, when I stopped you, there was a junction on that side. Yeah. Yeah, you stopped opposite that. Be and because that kept happening, mm -hmm. every time you did it, that would be a serious fault. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So, uh, the injunction, it was opposite. Yeah, you stopped opposite the junction. You st mm -hmm. The first two times you stopped close to the junction. Yeah. On the left, then you stopped opposite the junction on the right. So, all three times I stopped you, mm. you were mm -hmm. um, okay. you're not in a good position, yeah? And finally, just a quick one about your, you know when you move off, mm -hmm. yeah? Again, you're probably used to doing it a different way, but the first thing you're supposed to do is get your gear. Yeah. Okay, get your feet ready, have a look, if mm -hmm. it's safe, then then move. move. Sometimes you start doing your checks too early, mm -hmm. your car doesn't be ready, Yeah. and you're taking longer to move, like you did at the start of the test yeah, as well. Exactly. No point doing your checks mm -hmm. if you haven't got your gear in, okay? So, so first, you yeah, get your gear, get your feet ready, look move around, check. if it's safe, move. then handbrake down and move. Yeah, it's called prepare, so gear, feet, okay. observe, then move the palm routine prepare mm. observe move okay but yeah like I said um you can see the rest of the faults uh, in the video mm -hmm. but like I said it's not too much needed so just be a bit more aware of the speed limit yeah speed limit yeah. okay uh, that was your main thing mm, all right. but Hassan thank you very much for doing the mock you're test welcome, but, yeah hopefully it's you. helped you out and good luck uh, with your test whenever thanks. it comes up now yeah thank okay thanks much. a lot thank and guys like uh, always thanks a lot for watching don't forget to like mm -hmm. and subscribe mm -hmm. and I'll see you in the next video